We hope so that now you will have a good understanding of the basics of the ggplot. Now in the last video tutorial we have prepared this graph for you. And we told you that this graph doesn't seem to be very much attractive. So in this video tutorial we are going to use the ggplot to build the same plot once again. And at the end of the video tutorial you will see the very beautiful and the elegant plot that you can use in the publications and as well as in your reports. So let's see that how we can practically use the ggplot. The first step to use the ggplot is to install the ggplot in your system. There are the two different ways to install the ggplot in your system. The first way to install the ggplot in your system is to click here on this packages. When you will click on the packages, then you will have this type of the menu. In this menu, click on the install and then this menu will pop up in front of you. In this menu, type ggplot2. When you will type the ggplot2, then most probably in the drop down menu, you will have the ggplot2 as well. Click on this one and then click on this install button. When you will click on the install button, then the ggplot2 will be installed in your system. Please keep it into mind that you should be connected with the internet during this installation process. If your internet get disconnected, then in this case, you may have the improper installation of the ggplot2. The second way to install the ggplot is to use the command. And that command is install.packages. So what you need to do, you need to type install dot packages and within the parentheses you have to give a comma inverted comma and after giving a comma inverted comma you have to type ggplot2 after typing this please run this command and when you will run this piece of the code then the ggplot2 will be installed in your system we have already ggplot2 in our system so that's why we are not going to install the ggplot2 now Please don't hesitate to contact us if you find any problem during the installation of the ggplot2. Once the ggplot2 is installed in your system, now this is time to call the ggplot2. To call the ggplot2, we are going to type library. And after typing the library, within the parentheses, we will type ggplot2. After typing this, please run this piece of code by hitting the run button or pressing the control enter key. Once you will do that, then look at the console. The ggplot2 code has been successfully executed. Now this library is available for you and you can use all of the functions of the ggplot2 package to build the beautiful graphs. To build the graph in ggplot2, what you will do? The first thing is that you will type the ggplot this will let the R know that you want to build the plot using the ggplot. Now as we have told you earlier, now here you have to add the different layers. And as we told you earlier that the first layer is going to be the data layer. So what you will do, you will give the parentheses and within the parentheses you will type the name of the variable that is holding your data. And as you know that the name of the variable that is holding our data is RDA data. In your case, this name could be different. After adding the data layer, now this is time to add a second layer. And that second layer is an aesthetic layer. As you can see it here that we give a comma and after giving a comma, we are going to type AES. The AES is basically going to define the aesthetic layer. After typing the AES, we will give the parentheses. And within the parentheses, we will define our two variables which we want to plot on x and the y-axis. As you know that we want to plot the systolic blood pressure on an x-axis and the cholesterol on a y-axis. So let's type the name of the variables here. So x is equal to systolic blood pressure and after it we will give a comma and we will type y is equal to cholesterol. Now here you can see that we have defined that what we want to have on an x-axis and what we want to have on a y-axis. So this is going to be our second layer. 
after typing the second layer now this is time to add the third layer and the third layer as we have told you earlier is going to be the geometry layer that is going to define the shape of our plot to add this layer we will come out of the parenthesis and we will give a plus sign and after giving a plus sign we will type geom underscore and as you will type geom underscore then you will have this drop down menu and in this drop down menu you can see a number of different type of the plots that you can build as per your data right now we are interested in a scatter plot and if you want to build a scatter plot then you are going to select point after typing the point you will give the parenthesis once again now we have added the three layers in a gg plot the first one is a data the second one is aesthetics and the third one is a geometry layer let's run this piece of code when you will run this piece of code then you can see the plot in front of you in a plot section right now this plot doesn't seems to be very attractive so let's make this plot attractive let's assume for a moment that you want to remove all of the gray background that is present in the plot to remove the gray background present in the graph what you will do you will add another layer and that layer is going to be the theme layer to add the theme layer we will give the plus sign and then we will type theme when you will type the theme then the number of the different themes will appear in front of you right now we are going to select the theme underscore classic you can choose any different type of the theme as per your own desires we will highly recommend it to you that you should try the different themes for your plots so let's move with the classic when you will click on the classic then you will have this code now let's run this piece of code when we have run this piece of code then you can see it here the shape of the plot now this seems more attractive as compared to the previous one isn't it now let's see that how we can add the x labels and the y labels as you can see it here that right now at the x axis we have a label systolic underscore bp let's see that you want to mention here systolic blood pressure so how you can change this to change this we are going to add another layer and that is going to be an x label and the y label to define the x axis and the y axis labels to add this layer you will give the plus sign then you can also move to the next line as well so we are coming to the next line and here we are going to type x lab after typing x lab we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis we will give a comma inverted comma and here we are going to type that we want to show on an x-axis we want to show the systolic blood pressure on an x-axis so we will type here systolic blood pressure after defining the x label now let's define the y label let's say that your cholesterol values are in mg per ml and you also want to add the mg per ml unit along with the cholesterol in this case you have to redefine your y label by typing plus y lab and after this give the parenthesis and then within a parenthesis keep the comma inverted comma inside the comma inverted comma type what you want as you can see it here that we have typed cholesterol and also defined its unit mg per ml now let's run this piece of code and let's see is there any change now when we have run this code look at the plot now in the plot at x axis you can see the redefined x label and the y label on an x axis we have the systolic blood pressure and on a y axis we have a cholesterol along with its unit now what about the line that we have actually drawn in a previous video tutorial so let's do it now so let's add that line here as well to add the line we will once again give a plus sign here and after giving a plus sign we will type geom underscore smooth after typing the geom underscore smooth we will type the method within the parenthesis and after typing the method within a comma inverted comma we will type lm please don't worry about the lm we will talk about the lm function in lot of detail in upcoming video tutorials after typing this 
let's come out of the parenthesis and let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then observe the change on the plot. You can see the line in a blue color along with some gray shades. These gray shades are letting you know about the standard error. We hope so that this brief video tutorial will help you to use the ggplot to build the beautiful visualization. From this point to onward, we will not use the R base package to build the visualizations. We will use the ggplot to build the different type of visualization. In case of any query, please don't hesitate to contact us. Our team will be always ready to help you out. Stay with us.